not 100% sure if that is actually correct, but we're going with it. And today I am here with yet another book haul because you're going to Value Village and she bought five more books because she has no self-control. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I have, I'm actually super excited about because I've been wanting to read this book forever now. It's been out for years and I've always said, your girl ain't gonna buy full price books when she can find them at the thrift store. And it's finally the day I found this book. It is Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. I read Anna Dressed in Blood and I really enjoyed it. I like her writing style. I think that it's very whimsical and I'm just like super excited to read this because I've heard really good things about it. Honestly, I try to avoid like learning <laughs> what books are about. So all I really know about this is that it follows triplets who have to like fight to the death to become the new queen and each of them have a different like power so one's like poisonous one can control the elements and one is like an animal whisperer something like that girl look i don't know honestly not 100 percent sure if that is correct but um we're going with that synopsis of this book but again i'm just super excited about actually finding a copy of it the next book i picked up i did not think i would ever find a book by this author at the thrift store but it was apparently my lucky day on this trip. I found All the Crooked Saints by Maggie Stiefvater. She wrote The Raven Cycle. I love The Raven Cycle so I'm really excited to get to read another one of her books. I also read Scorpio Races by her and I really did not like that book so I'm kind of interested to see where I'm gonna fall with this book since I've been on the loving spectrum of Maggie Seawater and also the hating spectrum of Maggie Seawater, so. The next book I have I think sounds really interesting. I had never heard of it before going to the thrift store that day, but it is Another Life Altogether by Elaine Beale. This book follows a girl named Jessie Bennett who has been dealing with her mother's fluctuating mental health for her entire life. They end up moving to a town in New England where she befriends two very popular girls in school and it's basically her trying to hide her mother's illness as well as hiding a secret about herself from these girls and her new school and it's like the story of that. I'm hoping that it's going to be a good mental illness rep book but I've honestly heard nobody talk about it. I haven't heard anything about this book in general so I guess we're going to read it and see what we think about that rep, but hopefully it's good. The next book I bought, I was kind of getting Black Swan vibes from it, but honestly, now that I think about it, I think it's only because it's ballet, because the synopsis, nowhere near Black Swans, but it's fine, Jan. It is Bunheads by Sophie Flack, and this follows a 19-year-old dancer named Hannah. She's always followed the motto of her dance academy, don't think, just dance, but then she meets a boy, and she needs to decide whether or not she's going to try to become a soloist in the upcoming production or if she's going to go off on her own and be with the boy. So, nothing like Black Swan, like I said, but I like the cover. I think it's super cool. So, we're going to see what we think of the story once we read it. And then the final book that I have is called The Good Liar. This is by Katherine McKenzie, and it follows three women. The first one is named Cicely and she goes off to town to meet her husband one day. But then her whole world changes when he is killed in a, an exploding building. A photo surfaces of Cicely watching the explosion and this makes her the poster child for every grieving family in that situation. It also follows Franny whose mother was killed and her mother was Cicely's best friend and it's her reconnecting with Franny. Franny and Cicely team up to provide financial support and guidance for the families of this tragedy, but then their budding friendship is derailed when a secret that Franny is hiding comes to light and it's basically their story. But then it also follows a woman named Kate. She lives in Montreal because she is running from her past in Chicago where this tragedy happened and somehow all three of these women's lives connect in some way. So I'm thinking 
thinking Kate started the explosion, but I could be extremely wrong, but we're gonna find out when we read the book. Alright guys, so that was my haul for today. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!